Welcome back. You're watching Mirror Live. Now, the West Bengal government has made Bengali mandatory a second language in private English medium schools. The cabinet has approved the proposal. It was contended that given the option most children offer Hindi or other languages in school, a second language, and as a result, they do not learn Bengali properly. Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has also given a nod to set up an education commission to look into the complaints against private schools. Meanwhile, BJP State President Shukandu Majumdar said that state government took the decision late. He further added that people living in Bengal must learn Bengali despite the medium of teaching. Besides, TMC leader JP Majumdar said that it's a positive step taken by the state government and added that it's in the interest of the children in both private and government schools. You know, it was only yesterday that we have seen that Bengali was made mandatory as a, you know, second language. Remember, as a second language in all private English medium schools. Now, of course, uh, you know, the people's division, uh, you know, people's opinion is divided. Now, I'm here in front of a school and I have some parents with me. I'll go across to them and try to understand what are the views on this. Ma'am, I'll uh, like to come to you. I want to ask you, it was only yesterday that West Bengal government have changed the rule. Now, they have made Bengali mandatory as a second language in all the schools. How do you react to it? See, we don't want Bengali mandatory. We want to know Bengali as a language because it's a state language. But Hindi is more important because we are not from Bengali background or something like that. So we are not well versed with Bengali, number one. Number two, in other states also, if we go, Hindi is the language that everybody understands. But Bengali, no one understands. So Hindi should, and as it is, it was, it should remain the same as it was. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will also come to you, ma'am. You know, 15% of the total population in West Bengal is non-Bengali people. So most of the time, people come here, you know, for professional reasons. And imagine a child, you know, coming here in maybe 7th or 8th standard where they have learned Hindi so far, suddenly, you know, having Bengali here mandatory as a second language. How do you react to that? Uh, it would be really difficult for us because uh, we are non-Bengalis and we don't know Bengali much. So for the kids also, they'll be, they'll be having very much difficulty in it and we won't be able to cope up with it. So we would like the Hindi to be remain the second language itself. Thank you so much. So as you can see, you know, the parents clearly believe that Hindi should be the second language. Sure, see, this is a very uh, late decision, I think so, because yeah. they have taken the decision much earlier. Because the most of the people, those are those are people, those are staying in the uh, West Bengal. They should learn Bengali. Otherwise, how can they interact with the local peoples? So, whatever the medium of the teaching is, but Bengali should be con obviously compulsory, and uh, government should have taken this decision much earlier than the present time. It's a it's a good step towards, you know that education, the teachings, process of teachings, because, you know, guru of all gurus is Vishwaguru Ravindranath Tagore. We consider him as Kobi Guru and Vishwaguru. Ravindranath Tagore once said in Bengali, it's, it goes like this, Matri Bhasha Matri Dugdher Maton Nay, meaning, that your mother tongue is like the milk of your mother. Mother's milk and mother tongue is same. So children of Bengal will get scope to learn Bengali in every school, whether English medium or Bengali medium, whether private school or a government school. That's a good step has taken by this government. Shreya, my colleague, joins me live on the broadcast. Shreya, good evening. As we speak about this development, tell us all the reactions coming in from parents as well. And politically, of course, it seems like everyone's appreciating this step. Yes, of course, you know, after yesterday's decision, after the West Bengal cabinet decides, you know, to make Bengali a mandatory second uh, language, you know, for all the English medium private schools in Kolkata, we see that, uh, you know, politically they are saying that it's a good decision, it is being appreciated, but then when we go to the parents, you know, they have a very different opinion. I have been speaking to sp parents, you know, especially non-Bengali parents, and they believe somehow that, you know, this shouldn't be the case. Bengali should not be a mandate because these students, their children, you know, they might migrate to other states as well, you know, when they grow up for further education and then it could be a hindrance. They don't mind, you know, learning Bengali and, uh, you know, uh, you know, making the language a part of themselves as they're staying, uh, you know, for West Bengal for the time being. But 
uh, they are also concerned about the hindrance that their child might, uh, you know, face in the future. And remember, West Bengal is one of the places which have uh, almost uh, close to 15% of non-Bengali population. A lot of people from UP, Rajasthan and other states as well like Bihar comes here, you know, for professional reasons. So this becomes a question, you know, for the non-Bengali neighborhood and the non-Bengali parents because those students now have to mandatorily learn Bengali as a second language and then they might face problem when they migrate to other states for higher education. Right, Shreya, thank you very much for joining us on that development and drawing things into perspective for our viewers as well as to what the reactions